Okay, we saw the legacy interview and routine. The next one is router on the stick interview and routine. So to configure uh, between two VLANs, we need a router. Oh, it's not not to configure, but to communicate two VLANs or to communicate with each other, they need a router. This method is router on the stick. The router on the stick approach uses a different path uh, to route between VLANs. One of the router's physical interfaces is configured as a 802.1Q trunk port, so you can understand the VLAN tags. Logical sub-interfaces are created, one sub-interface per VLAN. Each sub-interface is configured with an IP address from the VLAN that it represents. VLAN members hosts are configured to use a sub-interface address as a default gateway. So now, before we saw that uh, with legacy, with the router had to have as many interfaces per VLAN as you had. Say you have 10 VLANs, you have 10 interfaces. Now, now no. Now we need one interface only. Just one interface, but we create some uh, sub-interfaces, virtual interfaces. So we create a sub-interface per each VLAN. Okay. Only one of the router's physical interfaces is used. Now there's some ad advantages and disadvantages with this. Because if you have per interface, we have an interface per VLAN, then the bandwidth is it's fine for each VLAN has its own bandwidth, but now you have one interface for all VLANs. Now the bandwidth is shared on that interface. Okay, so before we had two cables, now we can have only one, one cable. But in that cable, we create, uh, say this is in FA00, we create two virtual interfaces. To create the virtual interface or sub interface, it's same. You go FA00.10, for example, and then the next one. FA00.20. This 10 and 20 here will like, uh, for example, re represent the VLAN number. Doesn't have to. You can put any number you want, but usually we would put dot .10 to know that uh, that's the interface, the, the sub-interface for VLAN 10. And then when the packet comes in from the, one, the black VLAN on the left here, it will go through that interface, but inside the virtual interface, and it will come back to the same interface, but in the virtual interface. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to configure the VLAN here. The one problem here that I see the most students that forget to make this port as a trunk port. It has to be a trunk port. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to configure. Um, so first thing we to do is we're going to remove some of this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to copy some of this from the old configuration. So interface FA01, uh, no, no switch port mode access, and no switch port access VLAN 2. Um, I can remove these as well. Say no here. Okay, so I'm just doing some clearing up here from the previous exercise. Uh, what we had here, okay. Let me just go to the real time. Right, first thing is I'm gonna delete these two interfaces because we don't need two anymore. We only need one interface. So I'm gonna delete FA01 here, right? We're gonna need one interface, FA01. Uh, let's, let's just take, uh, yeah, FA00 here, fine. So I'm gonna go on the switch and enable config T interface. Oh, I have it on the, not on the memory, so paste that, okay. So FA01, no switch word, FA02, no switch word. Now, FA01 in the switch, it has to be a trunk port. You have to remember that. So we do that first. So interface, interface, FA01, switch port, mode, trunk. Okay. You can see the interface has gone down and then it's gone up again because now it's, it's working as a trunk. So if I do end, show VLAN brief you can see that 10 is still there on the sales 20 is still there on IT but 1 is not displaying in anything it's not displaying because it's not an access port these are all access ports if it's a trunk port it's not going to display here it's going to not belong to only one VLAN to see that show interface interface uh, trunk that's a command so we can see that FA01 now is trunking and encapsulation is using encapsulation 802.1Q and it's trunking. 
Native VLAN 1. All this information is uh, CCNA uh, Semester 2, Chapter 2, I think. So if you didn't watch that video, if you don't know what's happening here. Okay, so we configure that interface as a chunk. All we have to do is configure the router now. So we're going to clear some of the stuff. So if I go enable, show IP interface brief. Some of the old configuration, so we have to clear it, config T. Now, in the packet tracer it doesn't work, but on the real devices it would work. So it will say default interface FA00, for example. And it will clear all the configuration that you have on 00. But packet tracer doesn't work. So we have to do it manually. Do show run. Do, because I'm in the wrong mode. If I don't want to write do, well, I have to be in the right mode. So end here. And I'll do show run. I don't have to write do here. Do show run in config. Okay, so I want to. I need to clear this some of this stuff here. So what we have here on FA01, need to clear that. Just get rid of the IP address, really. So config T, interface FA01, no IP address. And I'm going to shut that down. And same for the interface FA00, no IP address. And shut down. Just clear it up. Show running config. I'm using the spacebar to go quickly down. So I can see that I have two interfaces. They are clear. They are both shut down. Show IP interface brief. Ah, they're both down. No IP address. Great. That's what we want. Okay, so what we're going to do, the configuration here for the router is, let's say our one here. Go to the one single interface. So interface FA00. This is the interface we're going to configure. To make a, a sub interfaces, uh, let me do this on the router. So config D interface FA00. To make a sub interface on this interface, now I need to type dot. And then whatever number I want to put. This is locally significant. I can put 505, 5051, or whatever number. We usually put the whatever the sub-interface, whatever VLAN is going to represent. So if I put a question mark here, these are my choices. From 0 to 4 billion and 294 million and... Ah, whatever. Okay, so here I'll put 10, because this is for VLAN 10. First thing I need to do is type the encapsulation. What encapsulation is going to use? So encapsulation. Give it a tap. Encapsulation. Here we go. Then... What encapsulation is going to use? Well, we're going to use dot one q because we saw on the switch it was using dot one q. Yeah, dot one q. We actually spell dot d o t one q. Space and the question mark. Now it's going to tell me what VLAN. Here is important. If you put, if I put VLAN twenty, then it's going to represent VLAN twenty. If I put VLAN ten, it's going to represent VLAN ten. That's what I want to do. So I want to represent VLAN ten since I put dot ten there. So that's it. Space question mark and ah, no nothing. Don't worry about native. So I just hit enter. Encapsulation dot one q ten. Then now I can put the IP address. So IP address one nine two one six eight dot ten dot one and the submit mask. Enter. Native you need to check the, the VLAN video to see what it, what is the native one. So I, I don't have we don't have time to cover native here as well. Okay, so we configure that. End. Show IP interface brief. So we can see now we have a one more new interface. And we're going to make a new one. Another one. So you can make as many interfaces, as many virtual interfaces as you want, really. 4 billion we had. Config T. Interface. Interface FA00.20. First thing you have to do, what did we have to do first? tell what encapsulation we are using. If I go right away and I try to put IP address, IP address 192.168.20.1, give an IP subnet mask, boom, it's not going to work. Configuring IP, IP routing on a LAN sub-interfaces is only allowed if that sub-interface is already configured as part of IEEE 802.110. Sorry, IEEE 802.10, IEEE 802.1Q, or ISL VLANs. So first we need to tell what encapsulation we are using. Encapsulation dot one q and then the VLAN number, VLAN twenty. 
Now we can give an IP address. So IP address address 192.168.20.1 subnet mask and show IP interface brief. Okay, I have two virtual interfaces FA0.0.10 FA0. Uh, sorry, FA0 forward slash 0 0.10 and FA0 forward slash 0 0.20. They're both administratively down. Why? What do you think? Well, this is the parent interface, yeah? So if the parent interface is down, well, they're going to be down as well, right? So we have to go and no shut down the parent interface, not the virtual, because the virtual they won't make effect, will not have effect. So config T interface. FA00, no shutdown. Done. You can see that all interfaces gone up. The parent interface, the virtual interfaces, both of them. Okay. Oh, and show IP interface, interface brief. See now everything, all of them are up, up, up. Okay. So what we have here now, this is going, see? It's orange. If you want to go green quickly, fast forward the time. Boom, it's gone. Otherwise, you wait 50 seconds. Now all the configuration is done. This router has got two uh, virtual interfaces inside this physical interface. Everything is connected through FA00. This is now called router on the stick because it's pointing out there. It's going. All the VLANs are going to come through this to the router. And the router is going to do its thing and send them back. This interface here can get the bottleneck here for all the VLANs. So it's not a great solution, but it's better than legacy into VLAN routine. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is test it. So go to the PC. Uh, IP config. Yep, what I'm going to do is test my uh, gateway. So ping. Hey, what happened there? So ping 192.168.10.1. Let's see. The first first ping, I told you. Don't get too scared. If you see the first ping, we always do, but first ping will fail because it's ARP, ARP resolution. So uh the other pings work. Now since he's got the ARP done, no any more pings are gonna fail. So ping, everything will continue. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is check uh, PC1. Is it uh, pinging its gateway, its default gateway? And then if it pings the default gateway, we ping the, the PC0 on the left. So let's go through. Um, I'll check there, Leon. So um, ping IP config first. IP config. Yeah, that's my IP address. So ping 192.168.20.1. That's my gateway, so I'm going to ping the other PC. So ping 192.168.10.10. And there we go. Okay, seems to be all working. So we can see now in simulation again, um, see, delete this from this PC to this PC and capture forward. You can see the packets are going to go, going to travel to the gateway and pack from the gate back from the gateway to the same interface to the next VLAN. same interface on the virtual virtual interface same physical interface and a virtual interface Okay, this is concludes the inter-VLAN routine on router on the stick. The next video is going to show you inter-VLAN routine with layer 3 switches. Thank you.